Hello guys, I'm Alexi. Welcome to Hard Firm Soft. In today's episode of Practical Prints, I'm going to be designing and printing an IKEA wireless phone charger frame. If you're new here, subscribe for more videos about 3D printing and DIY projects. Let's get started. So I have this IKEA wireless phone charger that I keep on top of my bed. Usually, when I go to sleep, I spend some time looking at my phone. But I can't really see if, if the phone is correctly positioned in this charger, so I'm not sure if it's actually charging. So my idea for this problem was to print a frame for the charger, so it's easy to tell even without looking if the phone is in the correct position. This also gives me a chance to test out some new filament that I got recently. I decided to use Fusion 360 for this because it fits the purpose quite well. This is quite a simple part, it's just a few profiles merged into one. First, we create a sketch for the phone outline. We create a rectangle, add fillets to the corners, adjust the width and height of the rectangle to match the phone, extrude the sketch with the total height of the part Select the sides and use the press pull tool to extend the sides. Extrude the original sketch profile again to cut an indent into the previous body. I decided to add a slight taper to the extrude command to make the design a bit more interesting. I used the cross section analysis tool to make sure the lip around the part is supported properly. Next, create a sketch for the outer rim of the charger. Create a circle with the diameter of the rim, plus a bit of extra tolerance. Extrude the sketch to cut a circular indent into the part. Create another circle sketch. This time use the diameter of the inner cylinder. Extrude the sketch all the way through the part to create a hole. Create a sketch for the cable channel. Create a profile with a half circle on the top, extending down to the bottom of the part. Extrude the sketch to one end of the part to cut a channel to the bottom. And that's it. It took me less than an hour to measure everything on the charger and the phone and design the part. Now that the design is ready, let's get to printing. I decided to print this in white PLA because it matches the color of the room nicely. This is also my first time using this real filament PLA. When you're printing with white filament, it's really important to purge the nozzle completely because any other color will easily tint the white filament. It's also a good idea to clean the extruder gear because some chips can get stuck in there. Those chips can release a lot later even though the nozzle is clean. This print showed some signs of over extrusion, but it's not quite so bad that I would have reprinted the whole thing. For the next print, I'll definitely lower the flow rate a bit. As you can see, there are some artifacts in the final print, but it's good enough for me. Don't want to waste another three hours printing this thing. The installation is quite simple. Just move the cable through our part and clip the charger into place. Finally, put the cable in the channel that we designed for it. Now that it's finished, I gotta say, it turned out pretty well. It does the job I designed it for, makes it easier to put the phone into the correct position when I'm in bed. This is why I like 3D printing so much. I can create a functional part in just a few hours. It's nice that I can create a solution to many problems like this all on my own. It also doesn't hurt that I find it enjoyable to come up with these ideas and creating the solution. And speaking of enjoyment, if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. It would really help me out. Now I would like to hear about your favorite practical prints. Share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.